I finally bought the farm. Really? Congratulations. Thank you, sir. How big is it? Well, it's big enough to handle my 40 cows, 20 hogs, and 70 sheep. What's that supposed to be? Well, my farm is large enough so that there's always at least 1,500 acres of grass that's ready to eat. Now, after an acre of grass has been eaten, it takes three months to grow back so that it's ready for consumption. And every cow eats 10 acres per month, every hog has five acres per month, and every sheep has four acres per month. And we're assuming that when you obtain this farm and the animals, that all the grass on the farm was ready to eat, right? Yes, sir. So your 100 cows eat 400 acres of grass each month. Your 20 hogs eat 100 acres of grass each month. And your 70 sheep eat 280 acres of grass each month. Yeah. That's 780 acres of grass each month. Now it said all the grass on your whole farm was ready to eat at the onset. Okay, we'll call that number T for total. Makes sense. So at the end of the first month, you'll have T minus 780 acres of grass ready to eat. At the end of the second month, you'll have T minus 1,560 acres of grass ready to eat. At the end of the third month, you'll have T minus 2,340 acres of grass to eat. However, at the end of the fourth month, the 780 acres of grass that was eaten the first month has grown back. So from then on, you'll always have T minus 2,340 acres of grass ready to eat. Exactly, exactly. Hmm. Since you always have at least 1,500 acres of grass ready to eat, that means that T minus 2,340 is greater than 1,500. Therefore, T is greater than 3,840. That sounds about right. So your farm's about 4,000 acres. Yeah, give or take. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. You know, I'll do what I can. Math pros, math pros, it's the end of the show. We are letting you go till the next episode. Try to crack the code, keep solving the play. Loosen up, do a couple math problems a day.